iodine dissolved in water. Okay? Uh, you can see it's very brown. Iodine in water makes a brown solution. It just does. I'm not going to talk about why or whatever. Iodine would, would sooner be in this solvent. This, this is um, like an oily, it's not really oily, but it's non-polar solvent. So it doesn't, uh, so iodine would prefer to be in there. So what we're going to do is call it an extraction. Tyson, you did a science fair project based on this. I'm going to be really careful when I pour this. Check it out. Check what happened. This is a clear liquid, but it's, it's not water. Okay, notice that the clear liquid is sitting on top of the aqueous solution, which means what can we say about the densities of these two things? They're different. They're different. Way to go. That's a start. Which one's less dense? Water. Less dense is the cyclohexane, the stuff that's on top. Now, the iodine would like to the iodine would like to leave the water and join the cyclohexane. So we're going to have to shake it up to let it do that. But what you'll see is something incredibly miraculous. <laughs> Are you ready? Don't don't look away. Okay. Watch as I shake. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Now wait, it's not over yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what just happened is the iodine went into the cyclohexane and formed an iodine cyclohexane solution. Notice it's not brown. Yeah. It's purple. What would you call it? Violet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Notice the, notice the layer at the bottom is no longer brown yeah. because the iodine's not in the water anymore. It's in the cyclohexane. That's sweet. Yeah, it looks like some kind of magic. Yeah, but it's just chemistry, guys. And that's the beauty of this. If we understand what we're doing, we can do magic, or what people think is magic. Okay, cool beans. Yeah, cool beans. All right, I'll do that tonight at my night class. That'll I'll probably get a good.